welcome back dear friends in our class 10 that is we are discussing our periodic classification of elements okay now see here in our periodic classification of elements okay see we are going to discuss first chemical reactivity here whatever after uh, last we we discuss nature of oxides and all okay now we will discuss here chemical chemical reactivity okay so see here we will uh, discuss check it say in chemical reactivity so as you know whatever this chemical uh, reactivity is depends on position of the periodic whatever say whatever this chemical reactivity depends on position of elements in a periodic table and also depends on their electronic configuration okay position of position in the periodic table okay of that particular element and what depends on electronic configuration okay so uh, suppose if you are discussing here uh, how it will variates in a period and in a group so say first we will discuss uh, variation in a period okay so in a period uh, what will happen say on we moving left to right say on on moving left to right okay first chemical reactivity what will happen decrease okay then again increase first chemical reactivity what will happen decrease and again it will increase okay so see here uh, we will discuss as a example of period third say third period okay now uh, i know you are habitual of this our periodic table uh, you uh, what you done lot of practice without saying you done this periodic table okay now you are familiar with this what your second period third period okay then group 1 group 2 up to group 18 okay i know you are now familiar with this all elements okay so see here in third period uh, is suppose we are discussing their reactivity say how we will uh, discuss here suppose here sodium okay then your magnesium okay now next one is what yes your aluminum silicon phosphorus sulfur then what here chlorine now here as you know beta uh, these are very reactive metal your yes very reactive metal your sodium okay no then first what will happen chemical reactivity decrease up to silicon okay because their valence electrons how much four okay here one though it is highly reactive then here two valence electron three four okay up to this what we can say silicon as a least reactive what beta least reactive now again from phosphorus chemical reactivity will yes chemical reactivity from phosphorus to chlorine then what chemical reactivity will yes chemical reactivity will increase what will happen beta chemical reactivity will increase okay now i know you understood this okay so here your chlorine is we can say what very reactive non metal very reactive what beta non metal suppose if you are considering as a what as a this third period now among this third period chlorine is what you are very non reactive sorry very reactive 
नॉन मेटल ठीक है नाउ सी नाउ विल डिस्कस व्हाट विल हैपन इन अ व्हाट इन अ ग्रुप ठीक है वेरिएशन इन अ ग्रुप सी वी विल डिस्कस हियर सेकंड दैट इज वेरिएशन सी वेरिएशन इन ग्रुप नाउ एज यू नो इन अ ग्रुप ओके वॉट एवर वी अरेन्ज इलेमेंट सपोज इफ यू आर कंसिडरिंग लिथियम लिमका सोडा पेप्सी जे रुबॉफ कसे पार ओके एज यू नो फ्रांसियम इज वॉट युअर येस फ्रांसियम इज युअर रेडियो एक्टिव इलेमेंट सो इफ यू आर कंसिडरिंग इन अ ग्रुप सो एज यू नो हियर बैलेंस इलेक्ट्रॉन्स आर सेम ओनली सो देअर केमिकल रिएक्टिविटी ओके केमिकल रिएक्टिविटी वेरीज ग्रेजुअली इन अ ग्रुप वेरीज ग्रेजुअली इन अ ग्रुप बिकॉज हियर यू मे ऑब्जर्व से वॉट एवर बैलेंस इलेक्ट्रॉन्स हियर वन ओनली ठीक है अंडरस्टूड दिस बिकॉज सी हियर सपोज इफ यू आर थिंकिंग लिथियम टू दिस सीजियम ठीक है सो लिथियम हियर वी कैन कंसिडर एज अ least reactive metal okay and down to the group reactivity will increase means cgm is what most reactive most reactive metal most reactive what beta here metal okay so why it is like this because it has a more tendency to lose electron why it is like this because it has more tendency to lose what to lose electrons okay understood these are what regarding variation in a group so we discuss about what metals so from the top to bottom highly reactive metal is your lithium so the least reactive metal is your lithium and more reactive is what your cesium okay now suppose if you are discussing say small b or here uh, suppose if you are thinking about small a regarding your metals okay we discuss now about this metal from in a group okay suppose here if you are discussing in non metals so non metals what will be the uh, affection of your what reactivity that is chemical reactivity so beta you can write here the chemical reactivity of non metal decreases what will happen say the chemical reactivity chemical reactivity of non metals decreases okay chemical reactivity of non metal decreases okay so if you are considering as a example decreases from what top to bottom okay suppose if you are considering example so see here carefully i am writing here some non metals fluoro chloro bromine and iodine so fluorine is what most reactive yes most reactive non metal and these are what what your your iodine is what least reactive non metal ठीक है आई होप यू अंडरस्टूड दिस रिगार्डिंग योर फ्लोरिन फ्लोरिन क्लोरिन ठीक है ब्रोमिन एंड आयोडिन सो यू हैव टू कीप इन माइंड रिगार्डिंग रिएक्टिविटी केमिकल रिएक्टिविटी वी सॉ इन अ पेरेड व्हाट विल हैपन व्हाई इट इज हैपन लाइक दिस ओके हियर व्हाई बेटर डाउन साइड केमिकल रिएक्टिविटीज ऑफ योर what chemical reactivities of your non metals 
decreases down to the group because it had tendency to gain electrons to acquire stable electronic configuration okay understood now see we will discuss our next point next point we will discuss beta about valency about what valency so here valency is what yes your valency is what beta it is a combining capacity of element valency is nothing but combining combining capacity of element okay combining capacity of element so we will write some important definitions here okay so see what will be about valency the electron say the electrons or electrons present in present in outermost shell of an atom we call it as a what the electrons present in outermost shell of an atom we call it as a what we call it as a valence electrons okay now these valence electrons gives you valency and gives a valence or we can say what valency of the element of an atom okay these are what whatever electrons present in outermost shell of an atom we call it as a valence electron and gives a valence or we can say valency of the element of an atom okay so it is very much important term valency on the basis of this valency we will define so many important thing okay uh, we got uh, information about your behavior what chemical behavior of that particular element okay so see here uh, one law is there say according to according to lewis law okay according to lewis law see here uh, what will happen elements having elements elements having 1 2 and 3 valence electrons okay elements having 1 2 and 3 valence electron they have they have generally they have generally valencies valencies how much 1 2 and 3 respectively respectively okay now as you know regarding your four four valence electrons yes either they can take or i could either they can donate or what accept that four electrons okay so carbon as you know carbon valence how much four okay as like a silicon also four valency okay now what will about uh valence electrons when elements having valence electron 5 6 and 7 okay so see here elements elements having 5 6 or 7 valence electrons okay they have valency so we will see the valency is with the help of one formula valency is equal to 8 minus 8 minus number of valence what beta electrons at that time when your valencies are 5 6 or 7 at that time we have to use this formula 8 minus number of valence electrons okay now we will discuss about variation in a periodic table for your yes 
in a group and in a period uh, what will happen okay so see here across the period what will happen and uh, from top to bottom what will happen see and pay attention on this across the period say we will discuss first okay see here we will discuss first across a period okay across a period see or we can say from left to right the number of valence electrons increases see we have to write as you know from left to right the number of valence electrons increases from left to right but but valency of elements but valency of the elements with respect to hydrogen or chlorine with respect to hydrogen or chlorine first increases first increases from 1 to 4 okay 1 to 4 then then decreases to 0 so that we will discuss with their chemical formula okay so pay attention on that also beta suppose if you are thinking about third period so say your third period suppose if you are thinking about third period so say as you know the third period is sodium magnesium aluminum then silicon okay atomic number 11 12 13 14 15 16 17 and what your 18 so we will see with uh, with the help of this as the example of period how your valence is first increases from 1 to 4 then decreases to zero pay attention very much important thing okay see here about sodium so as you know beta electron configuration also of h n electronic configuration so it is become very much easier to understand is 281 yes 2 comma 2 283 2 comma 8 comma 4 285 okay 286 you know this 287 and here what 2 comma 8 comma 8 now we will discuss here number of valence electrons also number of valence electrons also we will discuss 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 and eight valence electrons are there now most important part whatever valency say here okay valency so valency what will happen say sodium one valency magnesium two understood aluminum three yes silicon plus like carbon also four valency now see phosphorus so eight minus five as like I gave when your valence electrons are five, six, or seven. At that time, we have to use the formula. What valence is equal to eight minus valence electrons. So eight minus five, three. Here eight minus six, two. Eight minus seven, one. Here eight minus eight, zero. So see, first valence across the period. It is what first increases from one to four. Then it is decreases three from what decreases to zero as like this. So, beta, you have to write it correctly. Okay. Now, suppose if you are thinking about how in a group what will happen. So, see, in a group the number of valence electrons remains same. Therefore, the elements of group exhibit same valency. because in a group number of what number of valence electrons are same 
ओके देर फोर सेम बैलेंस इन अ ग्रुप ओके सपोज इफ यू आर कॉन्सेंट्रेटिंग एज अ वन ग्रुप से सपोज से बेटा मांगे कार स्कूटर बाप रोए एज लाइक दिस सपोज सो एज यू नो दिस टू हियर ऑल two valence electrons so therefore valency here remains same in a group okay i hope you understood across a period and down to the group what will happen about your valency so you have to write in your, your notebook whatever in a group what will happen whatever i told that statement you have to mention with their example okay understood so beta uh, now we will discuss say now we will discuss ionization energy okay so pay attention uh, ionization energy also it may uh, of you have extra point as a for id foundation okay so see here ionization ionization energy or we can call it as a what ionization potential okay ionization energy or ionization potential now here you must know the definition of this okay so what will be the definition of ionization energy so it is very much simple say it is a minimum energy This is the minimum amount of energy. Okay, it is the minimum amount of energy required to remove. So I will write here. Say you also are writing your notes. Okay. Say the minimum amount of energy. The minimum amount of energy required. Required. to remove remove an electron from from valence shell of an of an isolated gaseous atom of that element okay to form to form gaseous positive ion to form what beta gaseous positive ion it's called as it's called as ionization energy okay it's called as what ionization energy now see how we can show uh, how we can represent suppose x is a atom of an element is in gaseous form okay gaseous we can call it as a gaseous atom okay energy because we want to remove an electron from an valence shell of an isolated gaseous atom so see what will happen beta if you uh, remove one electron so x plus plus one electron minus okay so in we will get what gaseous ion here we will get okay now suppose the energy required to remove only one electron okay suppose energy we are required whatever energy required to remove only one electron so we can call it as a what first ionization enthalpy or we can say energy and suppose we have to remove second electron from the from that isolated gaseous atom then we call it as a what second ionization enthalpy or energy and suppose third electron we have to remove then we call it as a what third ionization enthalpy or energy okay so like that uh, we can uh, arrange like that uh, first second third and so on we can mention suppose we can we have to represent this so how we can represent first second and third suppose a is your of any atom 
plus electron or we can say here what will happen we supplied energy so what will happen yes i e1 or we can say ionization energy first first ionization enthalpy first ionization enthalpy or first ionization energy so what it will be converted into m plus iron okay and suppose next we have to apply second ionization enthalpy or energy so we have to use this again so this m plus iron if you what energy we use energy so we call it as a what here i e2 then again one more electron will remove so charge will increase so 2 plus okay as like this suppose third so m2 plus plus electron minus so what will happen we have to remove electron required to remove an electron from valence shell of an isolated gases atom okay now what will happen yes m3 plus iron you will get like that and so on understood i hope you understood this all now generally trend of this see here ionization energy third is greater than ionization energy second than ionization energy first okay but uh, about so many factors are affecting so it is for your higher standard okay understood so here uh, why your this ionization third ionization enthalpy is greater because when we remove when we remove first electron at that time nuclear charge nuclear charge what nuclear charge will increase so that's why your whenever we have to remove the second and third electron at that time your energy automatically will increase okay so these are what about your ionization energy or we can say ionization enthalpy okay now suppose if you are considering periodic trend of this okay uh, i like we saw for atomic radius metallic character valency also okay so like that uh, we will write important periodic trend regarding your ionization energy or ionization enthalpy so pay attention on this important periodic trend so see here what will happen regarding your important periodic train say in a period in a period ionization enthalpy or energy what increases because in a period as you know effective nuclear charge increases so nucleus is trying to attract out that outermost shell electrons towards itself so automatically ionization energy will along the period or across the period or from left to right increases and in a group in a group ionization enthalpy or energy or this potential what decreases because what will happen downside because along the suppose if you are from top to bottom okay your shell becomes one one shell will increase down to the group so very much simple nucleus to outermost shell electron distance will increase so they will behave whatever that outermost shell electron behave their own way so ionization enthalpy that value will decrease down to the group and that value of the ionization enthalpy will increase along the period okay so it is very much important about your ionization enthalpy or energy i hope you understood whatever i told that you have to mention in your notes okay now we will discuss electron affinity so see here electron affinity electron affinity or this electron affinity we can also or we can also write say electron gain 
enthalpy ege electron gain enthalpy affinity means to attract okay affinity means all you know uh, we are human being so we all have affinity towards water okay electron gain enthalpy like that here affinity towards the electrons like that some elements are there okay so see we will discuss for definition it is the amount of energy release it takes the amount of energy released okay when a neutral isolated gaseous atom a neutral isolated gaseous atom okay accept accept an extra electron an extra electron to form to form gaseous negative negative ion that is we call it as a what an ion okay except except what beta noble gases is called as your electron affinity or electron gain enthalpy so see here uh, we can show diagrammatically here uh, represent gases one of the here neutral what neutral gaseous atom okay when plus electron means here what addition of electron yes it will take electron plus what energy will release okay so here we call it as a what an ion understood now here uh, one more keep in mind greater is the energy greater is the amount of energy when release okay higher is the electro affinity so this trend we have to write in your notebook okay now one more important statement about this electron affinity is what when you added one electron at that time that reaction is called exothermic okay and when you add second electron okay when you add second electron at that time that process is endothermic because some repulsive forces are applied because some repulsive forces are applied so keep in mind this very much important you can mention in your notebook when one electron is added at that time that process is exothermic and when second electrons will added that process is what first process is exothermic when one electron is added and when you second electron added at that time that process is what your endothermic because of repulsive forces okay now beta here how uh, we will discuss uh, whatever trend trend is what see electron affinity electron affinity along the period along the period increases and down to the group and down to the group what decreases so keep in mind is why it is along the period increases electron affinity yes now only we saw about cl and all okay so we will discuss uh, examples also suppose see uh, very much frequently asked question on the basis of this electron affinity see here you know beta here uh, group 16 family o sulfur se and group 17 chlorine chlorine now what i told along the period along the period your increases okay now suppose if you are thinking about group okay decreases but here oxygen among these oxygen and sulfur among these oxygen and sulfur sulfur has a greater electron affinity than oxygen because oxygen is oxygen is small in size and among the fluorine and chlorine 
yes chlorine has a more electron affinity because here also same reason because of small size okay understood these are we can say the what exceptional cases it is frequently one of the frequently asked question keep in mind is uh, very very much important theek okay. hai now we will discuss beta electron negativity theek okay. hai see here electron negativity see about your electron negativity e n electron negativity so different different scales also there okay pauling scale molecular scale all round all round rosho scale like that different different scales are there okay that you are going to discuss in 11th standard high standard okay but generally main important part is what pauling scale generally we are using okay there is a no unit for that scale so here we will discuss for definition of this it is a tendency it is the tendency of an atom of the element okay tendency of an atom of the element in a molecule in a molecule in a molecule to attract to attract shared to attract shared pair of electrons towards itself shared to attract shared shared pair of electrons towards itself okay in a bonding in a bonding it's called as electron negativity okay understood now suppose if you are thinking uh, example so say beta example h and c okay it is a bond between what we can call it as a non metal non metal this so covalent bonds yes covalent bonds are formed okay you will come to know in our next topic uh, whatever metals and non no non metals topic you will come to know the bond between non metal and non metal is what covalent the bond between one metal and one non metal is what ionic bond or we can say electrostatic bond okay so these are what covalently bonded so covalently bonded means what sharing of electrons so see on cl as you know the atomic number what 17 so 2 comma 8 comma 7 so hydrogen 1 so whenever we are drawing the structure we are using what valence electrons so see here 1 2 3 4 5 6 and this 7 and this one for hydrogen of hydrogen so here hydrogen they are trying to complete its duplet always duplet duplet means what two electrons and your chlorine is what chlorine is completing its octet as like this okay understood means among these more electronegative negative what yes among these more electronegative is your chlorine means from positive this h plus to this cl minus that is negative means here chlorine is attracted whatever this shared pair of electrons towards itself in a bonding so we call it as a what electronegativity means in this h plus and cl minus as you know how it will dissociate on the basis of this because chlorine is more electronegative than hydrogen so they are it has a tendency what it has a tendency to attract a shared pair of electrons shared pair means whatever they share that electron it has a tendency to attract that it forms your this bond becomes what polar polar means what one delta plus and delta minus means positive pole and negative pole two poles are formed therefore it, we call it as a what hcl as a polar compound okay hcl as a what with a polar compound understood i hope you understood this so here one of the important part regarding your 
periodic trend suppose if you are discussing periodic trend say in a period in a period say electronegativity what will happen yes increases and in a group is electronegativity decreases here in a period from left to right increases and in a group from top to bottom what will happen top to bottom electronegativity decreases so you have to keep in mind is all important data about your electronegativity okay now last point of this topic that we will discuss it is of what a uh, diagonal relationship okay what beta yes say diagonal relationship say here what will be the diagonal relationship okay so see here from the period so second period and third period okay some properties of that from second period to that with respect to third period they are resembling in their properties so we call it as a what it has a diagonal relationship between second period and third period so say we will draw here yes second period say here beta second period as you know is lithium beryllium okay boron carbon and suppose if you are writing third period elements also sodium magnesium okay 11 12 13 and 14 so some here the physical and chemical properties are the same resemblance ek sarke pan hai because say diagonally they are in relation lmg beryllium and like a boron with silicon okay like that the resemblance in physical and chemical property so we call it is a what diagonal relationship okay so i hope you understood this topic from first onwards whatever historical development of our periodic table up to the last this session okay uh, up to how much we discussed the train about periodic table atomic size okay isoelectronic species metallic character non metallic character okay then our electronegativity ionization enthalpy valency if you have any type of any kind of uh, doubt so you can share without hesitation okay understood so take care and stay safe here our whatever periodic classification of elements topic is completed completely now after that you have to solve your ncert in text question okay uh, then ncert exercise and we will discuss uh, some we will share some pdf also okay i will share that on group okay take care